All right, man, we back. Mercy Sports Talk in the building. Apparently, some Lions fans are outraged that my guy, yo, miss, yo, boy, Marvin Hall got released today. And let's talk about it. Appreciate the love and support. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video for your boy. Basically, Marvin Hall was one of their last of the Mohegans as, as far as speed positions. DeAndre Swift got cleared, but Adrian Peterson said he ain't right. Jamal Agnew ain't been doing right. And t uh, Kenny Galladay, basically our everything possession stretch receiver, is out. And Marvin Jones is old, and I think he deserved to be cut and, get, and join a playoff team. And like I said about Amendola, he's slow. You know, and I feel that it should have been Jamal Agnew, Danny Amendola, or Marvin Jones, just because I hope Marvin Jones can be able to be a part of a championship team and get a ring or something of that nature. That should have been cut, in my opinion. And most fans feel the same way. I know Marvin Hall only had like 17 catches in his career, excuse me, but I just felt that he was a, a speed guy. And some people saying that, well, you know, you know, he wasn't the best guy on the team, but then again, he was our one of our few guys to have speed. Jamal Agnew hadn't flashed any ability to go downfield and catch the football yet. You know, I seen him working out with Stafford in the offseason. He showed that ability, but that's with no cornerback and no safety playing coverage on him. And it just didn't make sense. They said they wanted to go with younger receivers. And Mandola older, older than Marvin Hall. Marvin Jones older than Marvin Hall. And Mandola should have been the one out, to be honest. But then again, Marvin Hall ain't lit the league up before or after or while he was here and probably won't light it up afterwards. But we just think that he the last fast guy on the team, one of the last guys on offense that he gone. But I just felt that Danny and Mandola should have been gone. Slow, injury prone, and you know, just ain't been right all year. You know, 35 years old, probably soon to be 36 sometime next year. But, you know, most people making a joke. I thought Bob Quinn was gone. But then again, hey, it is what it is. They wasn't going to release Cephas. I think that would have been the worst move. It's tough. It's tough, you know, but Galilee may or not, may not play this week. But talk about Galilee. He's our only dynamic receiver other than Hall as far as speed. But, you know, I guess the platinum standard in the league, which is the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, they're not going to follow that blueprint, which they got speed at every position damn near. All their receivers fast, tight end pretty fast, back pretty fast. So I just think the Lions got to get faster, and that's the and that's the key. You know, in this league, it, you can be fast, but it hurts even worse than it did back then because you can jam and beat up small guys, and you can hit them and, and no defenseless receivers, and now it's just their league. They can go over the middle and not have no worries like Lil Wayne. I ain't got no worries. They can do whatever they want to do, and that's just the 4 one one in the league, and that's why speed reigns supreme right now. But, you know, hopefully Marvin Hall fall on his feet and do well somewhere else. I think he was a fan favorite when he did get limited opportunities. He made the most out of those limited, oppor limited opportunities. And an athletic guy, we really didn't see him in the screen game or, you know, in the, turn, turn, in the end of round game or the reverse game. Or, you know, jailbreak and bubble screens. But then again, how can you fought a guy that got limited opportunities? But he did get some opportunities in the Minnesota game. Uh, Might have got some in the football team game. And who we played last week? I forgot. The Texas game. But Cephas, they should have. One Pride Nation uh, hit me up on uh, Twitter and check his channel out. And he hit me up saying that with Marvin Hall, they should have got rid of Amendola because Quintez Cephas projects as a slot in the NFL and that's the guy they should have got rid of and let Cephas start to work in the slot and I 100% agree with that Amendola at least should have been the odd guy out the only reason I say Marvin Jones Jr. is because I want to see him do good but then again you know do you want to cut Marvin Jones Jr. and uproot his family right now for the playoffs so hey it is what it is wish Marvin Hall the best but in, in actuality in reality other than Amendola it should have been Jamal Agnew and I don't even know why he's still on the team couldn't be as a corner Try to be on offense, really ain't hacking it. Same thing with Miles Cribble was a safety, moves to linebacker, ain't really hacking it. But they must be very good guys in the locker room. They must really like them. So hopefully Marvin Hall fall on his feet somewhere and contribute. Um, appreciate the couple years you gave us here in the big plays down the field. He had a big play that didn't count this year in the Cardinal game that uh, High Tide took away. So hopefully everything good for him. And he balls off somewhere else. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. If you want to reach out, if you want to advertise your business on the channel, video request to chop it up. The link's there. Want to make a financial donation, cash app CJ Good 313 That link's in the description. PayPal, link in the description as well. Cash app name in the description. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you guys think about the lines releasing Marvin Hall. One time for the one time. We gone.